from the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Thank you, Tom. And also joining us at this time, Becky Lynch. Let's start with the champion, Charlotte Flair. Have you been able to wrap your head around the breakdown of your friendship with Becky? At SummerSlam, I won the SmackDown Women's Championship, but I lost my best friend. Bex, I know you thought it was your night and that you deserved it, and I think you deserve it, but what did you want me to do? Not take the opportunity, lie down for you? I would have expected you to do the exact same thing. Now, you're the one that said, in order to be the best, you have to beat the best. Those were your words, those weren't mine. But you lost, and now you want to blame me? It's convenient. Are you done yet, Queen? Or would you like more of my time in the spotlight? Because I don't really care. <laughs> Is this it. another pity party for yourself where you say I stole your spotlight or I put you in my shadow? No, if anyone knows what it's like to grow up in a shadow, it's me. No, I looked at you as an equal. I looked at you as one of the full horsewomen as a pioneer of a women's evolution. You put yourself in my shadow. All you had to do after we embraced was look at me and ask for a title match. <laughs> I could you have asked. You threw away a five-year <laughs> friendship, Becky. I could have asked your majesty. Screw you. Do I look like a charity face to you? Did I look like one last week when I was standing in a boogie holding that title above my head? You mean after you blindsided me and attacked me from behind? I dare you to do it face to face because it will be a different story. Oh, and I promise you I will because I'm done playing. From now on, I'm taken. And I don't care how that affects you, Charlotte, or your royal little bubble. It was a full-time job being your friend, managing your insecurities, reassuring you that you were good enough to wear that robe and carry that last name, but you're not. And the only thing that I care about is taking my spot back at the top of the SmackDown Women's Division where I belong. And you're in my way. And so I don't care what I have to do or how many times I have to drop you where you stand. That child is coming home with me. Mm, 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 mm. Bex, there's that straight fire you've been talking about for a long, long time. And I'm so finally glad to see it because you're going to get your me. wish. It's gonna be you versus me at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. But when I look across that ring in two weeks, I'm not gonna see my best friend, the person that I spent 24 hours a day with and travel the world with. No, as my best friend, you were never second best. But in the ring, you are, and you can't handle That's it. Delusional. You can't That's handle delusional. it. Delusional. Ladies, thank you for your time. Yeah, shine that title up real nice for me, Charlotte, because after Hell in a Cell, you're never going to see it again. What's your excuse going to be when I beat you this time, huh? Huh?